In 1997, Euro NCAP began the safety testing of passenger cars to inform consumers about the safest choice. In 2024, we're adding heavy trucks, testing them to tell fleet managers the safest choice to protect their drivers and their profits. Trucks are fundamental to a vibrant European economy. About 95% of everything we have is delivered by truck. So we must have trucks, but we also must have safer trucks. When it comes to the safety testing of trucks, we're not just gonna look at the crash performance of the vehicle. And we're not gonna just look at the technology that helps avoid the collision in the first place. Euro NCAP is taking a much more holistic view, looking at the timeline that happens before a collision, looking at what happens with the technology to support the driver, and also extending it to what happens if there is a collision and the emergency services need to be involved. And we call it the stages of safety. And it's based on something called the Haddon matrix. Stage one is called safe driving. And it's about the hours and minutes that might lead up to a crash. There we evaluate technology that supports the driver and helps prevent a collision occurring in the first place. So it includes things like seatbelt reminders to ensure that the driver is always belted up. It looks at speed assistance systems and indicates to the driver the correct speed limit for their vehicle type for that road and can even control the vehicle to that speed. We also look at driver monitoring systems that can measure the alertness of the driver. Drivers are driving for many, many hours and fatigue is a big problem. So these systems can really help keep the driver safe by warning the driver to take brakes. Vision is extremely important to safe driving. And so we're going to be measuring the vision that the driver has in each of the vehicles that we're testing. Low cabs and deep windows make a big difference, as do e-mirrors, so the driver's got an enhanced view around the vehicle. We're also going to be looking at vision windows they help give the driver a better view of the kerb and you can see the pedestrians and cyclists around them. Technology in recent years has come on uh, leaps and bounds. Uh, we've had huge advances uh, in technology, a lot of it driven by legislation such as the, uh, the GSR, General Safety Regulations that have come in in the last couple of years. Vulnerable road users are a real challenge uh, when driving in London. Um, you've got to be so aware of what they, they will do. And of course, with us driving an electric vehicle as well, there's also an added danger because a lot of the time they don't hear us coming. So you've got to be really on your game and be completely aware of, uh, of what's going on around you at all times. The second element in our stages of safety is crash avoidance. Here, we look at technologies that can help mitigate or avoid a collision in the first place. So technologies such as AEB, automatic emergency braking, or lane support systems that can support the driver in warn them of a potential collision or even brake to intervene to prevent the collision happening in the first place. CEDA really welcomes the opportunity to cooperate with and support your NCAP developing a safety criteria for trucks. It's absolutely vital that we break down the silos and, in, and embrace the safe system approach because we want safe trucks with safe drivers on safe roads and that's what we're working towards. More and more of my members are working with Euro NCAP on this and with the truck OEMs and together we will achieve vision zero on our road. In some of our larger European cities almost half of cyclist fatalities occur in collisions with heavy goods vehicles. In these urban environments, cyclists are at particular risk of being caught under the front wheels of a truck as it turns at a junction. We want to see manufacturers fitting technology that can automatically brake the vehicle in the turn and can prevent these tragic crashes. The introduction of new technology to trucks, whether that be safety or any other systems, of course, we have to make sure that our customers embrace that technology. Over recent years, they've really started to appreciate that there's a real tangible benefit in keeping safe, staying safe, and making sure that their businesses don't face the, the horrible consequences of being involved in or, uh, or having their drivers involved in incidents which could have been avoided. Passive safety protection is about the protection of the occupants and those around them in the event of a collision. 
we're talking about the milliseconds in a collision where seat belts and airbags can really protect those inside the vehicle. We're also talking about the strength of the cab and the passive safety protection that the vehicle offers to protect other road users. It's what we call compatibility. All of this is for the future and comes in in 2030. Stage four is called rescue and it relates to that vital 60 minutes that the emergency services have to extract someone from a damaged vehicle. So it's about identifying cut lines and how the emergency services can disable the vehicle's electrical systems to make sure it's safe. So there you have it. That's the new Euro NCAP safety ratings for heavy goods vehicles. This enables fleet managers and truck buyers to identify the safest vehicle for their job. And that's what Euro NCAP's doing, delivering safety and making roads safer than ever.